look at the action ahead here through the car camera. That position, so your podium will be Norbert Mikulis in second, and a great job again from Frederick Verbeek in third position. Shout out to Josh Bucken. The HMO customer racing drivers managed to get to fifth. Look at this on the run to oh. five. Photo finish <laughs> with Nestor Girolami. Have a look and see if we can find a way past a guy that's won a world championship. Oh, I'm hearing that. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. no. And Jan Elishay. That's less than ideal for Cyan Racing oh. Lincoln Co. Oh. oh, he wasn't a particularly happy bunny on the grid. I'm sure he'll be delighted with that particular move from his teammate. As we see another car go oh. wide. Barton and Bucket. It was Suter that went wide and turned two. But Australians really in the mix here. Bargwana side by side now with Bucket. As Bailey Sweeney, remember, he's going to think about the championship at the same time. Easier said than done as they make their way through turn five. Bargwana across the curb there. Safety car period, but it's spiced up the mid pack, hasn't it? It has indeed, and that's opened the door for Will Brown to get in there. So, Norby again on the grass. Great move by Brown, and around the outside, Furnish for good measure as well. Limits it, doesn't he? Through turn number four, and that Shaffler Peugeot. Look in, in the mix. Squabble of five or six cars here, Rusty. Nestor Girolami. Girolami is right in the middle of it there, so he's up into 17th place. Oh, contact under brakes. Just a little unsettled. Gets it together in that Honda Civic Type R, the new gen car, the FL5. There's Bucken, he's up the inside now on Sweeney, but he'll be on the outside as they go into the right oh. end. The wild stuff for HMO Customer Racing. Bailey Sweeney catches it. If you're Rob Benson down running that team at the moment, you are. Oh. Torn, emotions are torn. And they're still side by side. So after that moment, Bailey Sweeney is not taking stock. He's just kept it absolutely pinned. He gets the deal done now. So Booker stays behind. But that is some sensational driving I've seen from Bailey Sweeney. Ben Barguana in the heart of all the fighting as well. He's currently holding on to 14th position. So he's made a few. Uh, moves on down here at six. The Lincoln goes swarming. The Hyundai just ahead. Look how busy it is behind. This is fantastic. We have seen this picture before when it comes to Jan Elishay and Mikkel Athkoda racing. Now they're side by side. Athkoda drops a wheel on to the outside of the racetrack. He has the inside line, but doesn't quite have the overlap. Will Jan Elishay give him racing room? As one, they come out of the corner, trading door handles, trading wing mirrors. It's touring car racing. If you come back with your mirrors, you're not doing it right. And Mikkel Athkoda on this occasion survives. The good thing though, guys, for Jan Elishay, he's got marching quite his teammate behind, and Ma will be more than white. It's a shame he's made such a good launch off the line, pulled out a 1.3 second lead. Will Brown now on the attack again as well. The continue racing Audi versus the Melbourne Performance Centre machine. Brown gets done in the first section, but has the inside line. He's got the high ground now to the inside. All he needs to do is be smooth on the accelerator. Vermish is going to run out of racetrack. They give each other room though, and that is job done for Will Brown. Turn eight under the bright lights at Sydney Motorsport Park. We said this last night, we said it again today. They don't have any lead in time in this racing. It was elbows up through turn number one. You ride with Jan Elishay and look at the action ahead here through the car camera. Up the inside. Hyundai's and a Lincoln Co entry have absolutely decided that like a swarm of bees around Vervish's car as they come down the main straight here at Sydney Motorsport Park. Looks glorious this place. He's on the grass, recovers it. Bjork bowls are wide, Cameron will move to the lead. Jared Alami just holds on to the car and only just. Incredible scenes, Nestor Girolami manages to hold on to the car. Now he's charging against Aaron Cameron. Can the Australian driver hold off the Argentine? Ted Bjork is back on the racetrack. Girolami gets the job done. He takes the lead, but not for long. He runs deep. Cameron, not contact with second place, retakes that position.